This is exercise 101, questions 3 and 4. I'm going to consider these two together. If you look at question 3, which is the top diagram, you can see it drawn out. Um, well, we've got the triangle with an we know one angle and two sides. And if we look at the information we're given, we know an angle and the side opposite it. So the sine rule is going to come into play, which means that we can find, given this other piece of information, what angle C is using a sine rule. So we can use a sine rule to find angle C. Once we know angle C, we can find angle B. Once we know angle B, we can work out what the length of AC is. So that's how you proceed for question number three. And then just to carry that on, if we look at question number four, the situation here, the crank has moved round anti-clockwise from there to there. So now we're making an angle of 160 degrees. And so we can work out again, using a similar arguments to question three, what the length of AC is. And once we know what AC is there, we can work out how far C has moved in by finding the difference between our answers to question three and question number four. So have a go at it and see how you get on.